Well, hi everybody. Thanks for joining us on pre-service chat. It's great to have Becky Clark with us today. Becky, we were just discussing how long, you know, we've known each other, but there's even a way better story than that. Like you've been at Sanit for a while. I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 33 years I tried to calculate. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. that's, that's impressive. That's a while. <laughs> Yeah. When I showed up here, um, you and I ended up on the platform together a lot. Yeah. yeah. Worship team stuff. Yeah. I was on the worship team for probably about eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Got married. Got married. Met my husband here. Oh, you met him here. Here. Yeah. In the college and career at the time. Okay. Yeah. We were youth leaders together. We were college and career leaders right. together. And then young Marys with you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that today, actually. I saw a picture yeah. of one of the other young married couples that was a part of our group on yeah. social media today. And seeing that, it was bringing back some memories. We all got married at the same time. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. That was awesome. Very cool. Um, Becky, what is, you know, you married, you got kids who apparently one is really growing now. <laughs> 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 what, what is it that you do? Uh, for my job? Yeah. Oh, I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. I'm a teacher in SD62. Yeah, I work at an elementary school at Colwood Elementary. Nice. Yeah. And you do music there? Yes. I teach music, kindergarten to grade five, so I teach all the students in the school. I see them wow. all. Wow. Which can be overwhelming. Um, and I get to do anything I want basically with them, which is really fun from bucket drumming, African drumming, all the way to choir and yeah, everything. Wow pretty fun. Yeah, you were just mentioning that you had just been out doing some bucket drumming? Yes, right now we're working on um, taking music outside and so I just did bucket drumming out in the field and uh, hmm. figured that out with the kids which was fun but cold today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, that, I, I got all kinds of questions. I'm curious <laughs> kind of about that. that just, it just sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Becky, COVID has been this, this crazy season. Um, I'm sure it affected you and your job. We've, we've heard people talk about that, but it, it also kind of just changed how we've experienced um, community in the church and, and, and our sort of our faith expression and all that kind of thing. And, and it's kind of driven us out into the community a little bit uh, into homes. And I know that's been, been true for you guys. You guys have had a group that's been meeting, I think maybe almost from day one yep, from of about COVID. Day one, yeah. 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 Family or two or three? Uh, two families. It okay. started off at three and then when restrictions really came down, okay. we, we bubbled together. Um, we've oh, okay. got some compromised people in our family and so we yeah. had to take extra precaution. Um, so it's been mostly one other family, but it's fluctuated okay. a little bit as we've yeah. uh, moved along this journey. Yeah. Interesting phrases that we now just know what it means. You bubbled together. We bubbled together. <laughs> Uh, it's just kind of a funny season. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what that experience has been like for you as, as you've journeyed together with family, some of the, I don't know, things that maybe you've been able to do, things you've learned, some of the challenges around, yeah, just doing life and faith together. Um, it's, it's been ups and downs. We've yeah. had a lot of fun, um, you know, hanging out and yeah. we went camping together oh, wow. and we always, always food. We always eat together. Okay. Nice. It's a big important part. Yeah. Our kids are best friends, which is so exciting, um, as well. And, uh, we, we've known each other since, you know, they came to church. 25 years ago or whatever yeah, yeah. and uh, our families are also good friends awesome. so so we've kind of grown up together a little bit through all these phases together yeah. and so it just seemed natural that we got together with them to do home church yeah um, Very so cool. so it's been a bit ups and downs we've, we've journeyed with each other our kids kind of go through the same phases yeah. you know just behind or ahead and so we can um, talk to each other about the challenges of the different mm. ages and things like that yeah. and, and how we deal with that um, but we've also been through hard times. So yeah. um, personally, I've had some um, some struggles, and so they've been with me through that. And likewise, mm. we know they've had some hard times as well. And we've always been together through Bible study and young marrieds. We were yep. with them, and yep. yeah. So <laughs> it just it, it was a natural progression for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's something to be said about some longtime friends. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So now. Recently, you guys have done something that was really, really cool that, that kind of went viral, at least in the Victoria sense. Did, yeah. um, you you uh, and your group has had a heart for wanting to care and meet some needs of some people. And so 
You, you guys came up with a little project. Why, why don't you tell us about the project? Yeah, so our project, you might have heard about it, is um, the Little Free Pantry project. And I don't even remember how I learned about this. Yeah. Uh, I had years ago thought it would be nice to have one of those Little Free libraries. And so okay. I went on searching, I guess, for those and up popped the Little Free Pantry idea. So I was thinking this would be a great experience for our kids to be involved in developing this. It's, it's hard, especially in the COVID season, to you know, take them down to any of the places, the food banks and stuff, because they yeah. don't see anyone anymore. Right. right. So getting them involved in something was really important. And so I think at church, Steve had talked about doing something for the community. Okay. And so I suggested um, that we try doing this little free pantry. Okay. And I explained what it was, and I, as a teacher, know that a lot of students come without food or they don't have mm. lunch and things like that. So I knew that um, there was a food need out wow. there. And yeah. our house is situated on a busy road in between a middle school and a high school. Ah. So it's perfectly situated to help even students that are wow. walking by. We see a lot walking by. So anyways, I brought this to my group, and at the time we had another family as well join us. Um, and turns out they've got a little workshop in their basement ah. and that they're very DIY and so okay. I brought this idea to them we decided I think within about a week that new family went out and to restore picked up I think they were like <laughs> filing cabinets or something like oh. they're solid wood but they're, they were drawers and then they took it all apart scraped it all down the kids got involved painting it and then they figure out how to turn them into doors and create huh. a roof and stuff and um, it currently it's on a old bookshelf because we wanted to see if it would work first before okay. we actually cemented and did the whole oh, wow. appearance. Okay. Yep. So as um, we're thinking ahead. Yes. Yeah, so we that we've actually got phases to this. So we're hoping oh, okay. to add more houses of different things. Yeah. yeah phases to this. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm thinking so you have some very some planners in your group. Do you? Uh, we do have two <laughs> teachers in our two families. Okay. So yeah, yeah <laughs> planning right. comes along with it. Phases. I like. Um, it. <laughs> so phase one was the pantry to help with that. Yeah. So um, yeah. So we got it up, and then it just absolutely went viral. It yeah. was insane. It went up on the Saturday put it on three Facebook groups, community Facebook groups that I had been involved with. Hmm. And um, we had, I think we gave five interviews for wow. various things right. in about a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were like messaging me on my phone while I was working with students. Right. <laughs> that, like I couldn't get fast enough to yeah, people. Yeah. Um, so that was a crazy exhausting week. Mm. Um, but it was really neat and uh, Oh, I, I just took a tangent. I don't even remember what I was going to no, say. No, that's okay. <laughs> let, me, let me jump in there. So yeah. um, people are seeing the images right yeah. now of, yeah. of, of, the, of the little pantry. So um, just some of the practical things, like what kind of food are you putting in there? Yeah. Who is providing the food? Um, yeah, how, how has that been? Because it's been, what has it been, two weeks, three weeks? I'm, I've, I've kind of lost track of time. It's been about a month now, It's been I almost think. a month yeah. now. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so what's that experience been like? Um, so it's not without its challenges. I it's it's non-perishable food, um, but we didn't know what food would be most popular. So part of this was um, I had seen on one of these Facebook groups there was a single mom with a baby, hmm. and she couldn't wait in the food lineup at the food bank because right. there's an hour-long wait. Um, sometimes outside, it's a very small window. She's hmm. trying to work. All these challenges, and yeah. so um, this is a way where they can come anytime, right? Hmm. So we're like, okay, what kind of food do we need? Well, non-perishable, our, our idea goes right to canned food, right? Right. So we've got some canned food, put it in there. We started stockpiling granola bars and stuff like that and, yep. and put those in there. And then someone was giving away some food on one of these Facebook groups oh. again. So the picture you're going to see, it's got a bunch of chips in it because that's what was donated. But um, whatever works, right? Don't judge people who like I'm chips. I'm not you're judging not ju people. Okay. We're just, just trying to go healthier. Just wanted but to make sure. All I right. like okay. a good chip myself. Okay. Um, uh, so anyways, we, we got the pantry packed. Turns out we've now figured out people don't take canned food a lot. Okay. It's yep. uh, cereal, like plain oh. Cheerios, cereal, um, granola bars, coffee, peanut butter is a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's more, it seems to be almost more families maybe okay. that are coming by. Interesting. Or um, people trying to, tuna, tuna's the uh, only canned food yep. that goes. But soup, not so much. We get a lot of beans donated. But okay. 
and people don't want beans. I don't know why. Okay. Um, so anyway, so we've kind of learned what we need as we go along. Um, yeah. And kind of, I've seen a few people that come by. I, I, I don't want to say um, right. who's going by because yep. it's anonymous. Of course. Um, but we find people come in the middle of the night as well. Okay. Um, to, to get what they need. You mentioned donated. So mm. other people are finding themselves a part of this by yeah. the sounds of it. And yeah. so how does someone donate to... So we started off with our group saying we would fill it ourselves and we'll make sure it's filled. But then we put up a sign saying, take something if you've got some, or if you need something, leave something if you have something extra. Oh, nice. So we find that um, neighborhood people are leaving stuff along mm. the way as well. And um, my kids and my husband and I go out you know, twice a week just to organize it and make sure there's a good variety of food in there and that no one's going hungry, um, that mm. it's not empty. But we have had people hear about it and donate. They'll drop off just in the pantry without us seeing, or we've had um, a person in particular knock on our door and say, I've got like way too much for the pantry. Can I leave it on your porch? And wow. So we've cleared a space in our basement to, to kind of take in the extra food, but also when, we, when it is empty, we can mm. then fill it. Um, so we have all put in money towards this because right. there's not enough donations to cover the need. Okay. Um, but we, we, um, we have found that it's never empty, wow. which has been really cool. It's cool. Um, I had just spent a whole bunch of money on food for it and I just said, God, I can't do this every week. I right. can't spend $200 every week right. for someone else. And I just said, you need to make a miracle. Mm. And our pantry storage was filled by about three times wow. what it was before <laughs> in one weekend. That is so And that cool. was over Love Thanksgiving. That. So we had gone out twice a day hmm. um, just to make sure that it was packed all the time so no one was having Thanksgiving without anything. And here so we've good. got extra food ah. afterwards. So. Ah, love it. Thanks so much for sharing that. That is so, so cool. Um, the kids have had a role. Yeah. I'm sure people have seen some of the images of that. Yes. How, how, how I don't know, are any little stories of how your kids have, have kind of taken to this or it's impacted them? The kids are really excited to be involved. They were really excited that they could have something to do yeah. for the community because oh, often man. it's so adults, right? Yeah, so and, and the kids, they want to, they have this, you know, idea of this perfect world that they want to create. And so mm. it was important that we shared that with them and yeah. included with them and also gave them a practical way of sharing God's love. Hmm. So um, awesome. they've been a really important part. They've done a lot of painting. I went afterwards to make sure it was done nicely again, <laughs> but they did do a few coats <laughs> on nice. the bottom. Nice. And then um, they checked the pantry. So my kids, because we live there, they check the pantry regularly. But it's also brought conversations about, um, they've noticed things that are being taken and why are those things taken and not yeah. other things. And so it's been a good conversation about what others can afford and yeah. how fortunate we are. Um, we don't see ourselves as being wealthy, right. but really we are. Yeah. Um, but we don't always recognize that. Yeah. And so it's been a great conversation, even over Thanksgiving, like, oh, look at this table. Oh, think about the pantry. Wow. Like, you know, we can't put a turkey in the pantry, yeah, yeah. but at least someone can have something. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for, I mean, for being here and mm -hmm. telling the story. So encouraging. I'm sure it's going to spur some other people on to some different kinds of thoughts. But, but honestly, for your group, thanks for just hearing. I think hearing from God and and taking that step. What a what a wonderful thing. Look forward to hearing more about mm -hmm. it. Thanks, everybody. Um, for tuning in. Yeah, let's let's see what God wants to do mm -hmm. with some other ideas. Have a great day.